Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani trending today after he went through the list of crimes that Hillary Clinton should be investigated for. Here is what he said that got social media all kinds of fired up today. There are crimes that she committed. She violated uh, the Government Records Act in which you are supposed to use due care in, the, in handling of government records. She revealed classified information to people that it wasn't supposed to be revealed to when she was uh, calling back and forth to a buddy or emailing back and forth to a buddy. She uh, put classified information in unsecure locations, once again, violating federal law. If these things are true, these are things other people get prosecuted for. Right. General Petraeus got prosecuted for doing approximately one-tenth of what she's alleged there to, you go. to have done. But she has good point. All right, right here, right now, to discuss this and other problems in Hillary's world is Ryan Sorba of Young Conservatives of California. Ryan, welcome back to the show. Good to have you here in studio with us. Thank you. Uh, Rudy Giuliani, he ain't just whistling Dixie. This guy, former U.S. attorney, uh, district attorney, knows this stuff so uh you know every time hillary every time this topic comes up now hillary's saying this is a witch hunt ryan who's right hillary clinton is such a liar i mean rudy giuliani is a very prestigious uh prosecutor he's uh, basically found that she's guilty of over 15 different crimes uh like he said petraeus uh was punished for approximately one-tenth of what Hillary Clinton Okay, but has let me stop you done. right there. So what's the disconnect? I mean, why, why, why was Petraeus prosecuted for it, and why is Hillary, we, it just keeps dragging on? It's, it's because it's Hillary Clinton. I mean, when you look at this story, it's almost unbelievable. I mean, uh, the Benghazi scandal was blamed on some filmmaker in California. Like, a filmmaker in California is going right. to cause a terrorist attack on Libyan soil at our embassy. Mm -hmm. What really was happening, it, it is thought, was and there were arms being dealt to Syria from the U.S. Embassy in Libya, and so there was a terrorist attack against that embassy. Uh, the ambassador uh, in Libya asked Clinton and asked Barack Obama, please give me more security. They didn't give him more security. Mm -hmm. They left him out there to literally, he died to die. Right. They left him to die. That looked very bad for them in a campaign year in 2012. And for that reason, they said, oh, this guy in California made a film and it's all his fault. Mm -hmm. And it was a political stunt that Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama manufactured because it was an election year. Now, the United States Congress says, Hillary, show us the emails. Your story doesn't add up. Right. We want to see your emails. We want to know why this happened. And she said, oh, by the way, um, I didn't use my government email, so you can't have them. And they said, well, what email were you sending classified information through? My personal email. Right. Wait, what? Yeah. You're sending information that could affect my safety and my family's safety mm -hmm. over questionably secure email servers, this is a very big deal. And the fact that she isn't in jail and is running for president is a big deal. And the fact that Joe Biden's about to jump in against his own will mm -hmm. is a testament to the fact that she is totally and completely wrong. Okay, but Kevin McCarthy insinuated, at least to some it seemed, on Sean Hannity's show, uh, that um, this was, you know, that if it weren't for them investigating her, uh, Hillary wouldn't be in the position she's in and that they essentially affected her numbers. Thank God that, they're, that they are investigating this because right. no matter what, whether Hillary Clinton is running for president or not running for president, this mm -hmm. is a scandal and it needs to be exposed. That's, and I hey, hear you, but did Kevin... I don't, I'm not a fan of McCarthy and I think McCarthy said something that has accidentally caused Americans or at least hi given Hillary mm -hmm. a false narrative or precipice to stand on in this argument. So now Hillary can say it's a witch hunt, when mm -hmm. in reality, she is a witch, and I'm glad they're hunting her because she literally That's right, they didn't have to death. look very far, did they? No, <laughs> they didn't have to look very far. And so, you know, uh, he, I don't believe that he should be the next Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gunning for one of the other individuals that are running for Speaker of the House, and this gaffe proves that he shouldn't be the Speaker of the mm -hmm. House. How effective is he going to be when he gets lots of opportunities to screw up? Uh, but, you know, at the same time, Hillary Clinton is still wrong. 
and what she did was terrible, and this is a feeble political attempt to get out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work, just like Rudy Giuliani mentioned, and she's going to go down for it. And now we're going to be dealing with the Joe Biden candidacy. I think so. That's you my don't prediction. think that the level of the Clinton corruption and all of the things that they've always managed to weasel their way out of, notwithstanding impeachment, right? You don't think that Hillary has a plan here that she's going to ultimately just skate right through this? It's going to be a, a testament to the fact that America is, I mean, if, un, if America is unable to, I mean, punish Hillary Clinton because she's Hillary Clinton, what does that say about our justice system? Oh, I agree. What does that say about our legal system? Right. And, you know, Bill Clinton, all this talk about women voting for Hillary, look, Bill Clinton has been womanize, womanizing for years. Mm -hmm. He was friends with Epstein, who had an island in which he pimped out underage, very underage girls, and this was Bill Clinton's best buddy for multiple years, like as if he didn't know that this was happening. This is a corrupt family. Right, and that's why I'm asking. I mean, can she really hang on this? And I mean that, of course, not in a literal sense, but I mean, will she really be sunk by this? Because I think people out there watching this go, the Clintons get away with everything, for crying out loud. There are sexual assaults, likely at least accused, murders. Yes. Um, so why would she go down for this? My thought is that she will finally go down for this, and the reason is because Bill and Hillary are backstabbers. Not only mm. does the Republican Party dislike them, but members of the Democratic and Party And eventually dislike your them. enemies catch up with you. Exactly. That's where you're going with this. Well, it'll be interesting to watch. I appreciate you being with us now.